What's up YouTube, Mac and Pro here and I'm with a tutorial of color corrections in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started. Um, so here I have four clips and these two are the same and these two are the same. So and the first one on each uh, group of video and um, there will be the example of the initial video and the other one will be the the product the final product like the color corrected ones so uh, we select our clip and we go to the inspector if you don't have the inspector it's like this little icon so we're focusing on color so we select color and uh, in color we have uh, three um, options balance color that is that it's like an automatic color correction it, it analyzes your video and it puts an automatic color correction so you can choose that uh, if you like it you can leave it if you don't you can quit it by clicking again this square button and so I didn't like that so I quit it um, then match color that it it's like copy paste with color corrections but not exactly because sometimes the video mess up and so um I don't recommend too much using it too much and finally color correction one that is your personal color correction it's like custom um so we're going to focus on this one uh, if you need more than one color correction, you can add a, add another one with this plus button. So we're going to start by clicking this um, arrow, and as you can see, we have three uh, tabs. Um, one is color, saturation, and exposure. So I always start with saturation. So in saturation as you can see it brights up the color and it get it down like black and white so um, we wanna put this halfway because if you put it like up at the top it looks a bit weird so we're gonna leave it at half um, remember that bright colors, vivid colors make the video look better and so that's a better color correction so here um, uh, you can see right away that the color correction is now much much better like this is the color corrected one and this is the old one so you can see the difference it's a lot better then we go to exposure uh, we get this a little bit down this makes uh, darker the the clip and this just a little bit up more more up then we get to color and this change the the clip color uh, in general so we don't want to get it uh, all the way up because it looks really weird so because the dominant color on this clip is green, I'm gonna take the global uh, to a to the green uh, like there. So we can see that there's a lot of difference in our clips. So the old one with poor colors and the new one with vivid colors. So we're done with this. So now we we're getting to to this other clip. Uh, so we're going to select it, then go back, select it, and once again color color correction one. Uh, the arrow saturation halfway exposure a little bit down a little bit up color because this is a 
like a warm um, um, clip I'm gonna take take to the yellow so it gets warmer um, so we can see that that it's getting better right away so um, you can see the poor colors the vivid colors so now we wanna we we see that the water doesn't look like doesn't look so good so we're going to add another color correction but now instead of right away going to the this um arrow we're gonna select the this shape um so now we we're getting this this is a shape yes shape mask that it only get the color correction only gets to the selected uh, point area so we're gonna select the water and this little white icon shows us uh, that we can custom our shape to make it like this or oval so I'm gonna get it like this put the shape on the water and this um, this space between this uh, line and this line it's like um, from 100% of the color correction and 0% of the color correction so I'm gonna take this a little bit down uh, place this like so and then now we can choose the the arrow and we're gonna take the global color uh, a little bit on this soft um, blue so it gets like a water uh, blue water uh, type of looking uh, in saturation and exposure it's only done uh, it's already done by the other color correction so we're gonna leave it blank so we can go back and we can see that our and our another color color correction on this video it's done so we can see here the previous video without color correction and the new video with color correction so we can uh, let me deselect this so we can see right, right away that it looks so much better so um, I recommend you to I recommend you to play with all these color corrections and these uh, options so you could get used to uh, the color correction and get your liking with them so thank you for watching comment rate and subscribe